And welcome back. Here I am with two of the performers from Into the Woods, Traven Harrington and Toby Nordland. Did I get that right? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, very good. Now, how long have you guys been performing in, in Branson? I actually just moved to Branson in January of this year. Oh, where'd you come from? I'm originally from Rayford, North Carolina, by way of Charlotte. Okay, all mm -hmm. right. Well, uh, but that's uh, what we've been hearing. Branson is becoming kind of a melting pot. What about you, Toby? I have been here for just under two years. Mm -hmm. I came here in fall of 2017. All right, 2017. Both actors, both obviously singers. I mean, <laughs> kind of heard the warm-ups going, uh, going on. What's it like for you? Well, since you're the new guy, we're going to talk to you first. Okay. What's it like coming into Branson, and now you're going to be taking the stage at the Owen Theater? Um, Branson, it's been a very exciting move. It's very different from where I'm from, um, but there is a thriving performing arts culture there, and mm -hmm. I'm very excited to find out more about it and just excited to be here. Great. Wow. Community accepting, they just like all the artists and everything yeah. coming in. This is great. What about for you now? You've been here, you said, for a mm -hmm. little longer. Yeah. What do you do, you know, besides this that you may bring into what you're doing at the Owen? Yeah, so uh, I perform at Sight and Sound Theaters. Mm -hmm. um, so I've been doing that since fall of 2017. Um, and it's really cool to kind of see the growth of just the theater community in Branson. Um, there's a lot of new shows coming into town. Mm -hmm. um, which is really exciting to see yeah. as a performer. Uh, they're really gearing things towards uh, a younger generation to kind of liven things up, which is really awesome. Very good. Yeah. Okay, quick recap of your character. I am Cinderella's Prince. Oh. Um, basically what it is. That says it all. Cinderella's <laughs> Prince, yes. The Prince and you? And I am Rapunzel's Prince. Rapunzel, oh, so say, all so, right, a prince here, a prince story, there. yeah. All right, got it. Are you, now you have something for us. You're going to be performing something for us right now, right? Absolutely. All right, yes. <laughs> All right, gentlemen, the stage is yours. Thank you. Did I abuse her or show her disdain? Why does she run from me? If I should lose her, how shall I regain the heart she has won from me? Agony beyond the power of speech When the one thing you want Is the only thing out of your reach High in her tower she sits by the hour Maintaining her hair Blithe and becoming and frequently humming A light-hearted air With you, if there only were doors, agony, all the torture they teach. What's as intriguing or half so fatiguing as what's out of reach? Am I not sensitive, clever, well mannered, considerate, passionate, charming, as kind as I'm handsome, an heir to a throne? You are everything maidens could wish for. But then why no? Do I know? The girl must be mad. You know nothing of madness till you're climbing her hair. And you see her up there as you're nearing her, all the while hearing her ah. Agony, misery, Whoa. though it's different for each. Always ten steps behind. Always ten feet below. And she's just out of reach. Agony. That can cut like a knife. I must have. 